Hey, good Saturday afternoon. What a beautiful day it is here in central Pennsylvania. I'm out on a private road trip right now. I got to get some uh, cough medicine or whatever for Brianna. She's got some kind of a sniffle going on and the nose is running. You know. I got the stuff that you rub on there because it's getting all raw and all that up here, you know. <laughs> ah, but I got my coffee. I have my furnace guy over there today. He took care of everything for me, so good Lord willing, I'm good for the winter now, you know. But he did uh, recommend that if I'm going to be sticking around here in uh, central Pennsylvania, he says, uh, Ralph, it's going to come time where I think you ought to switch over to oil. And I've been thinking that way for a couple years now, you know. Because believe it or not, I'm still burning coal. For those of you that don't know anything about coal, it's a nice warm heat, but it's a labor, okay? I got a guy that comes over and delivers me uh, one or two tons of coal every uh, couple months or so, you know. Um, when we first bought this place, I thought it was pretty amazing. You know, I said, wow, this is like living in Andy of Mayberry, you know? <laughs> Going back in time, I was digging it. Of course, that was... Uh, 15, 18 years ago, I was a little bit younger, all right? And uh, I had my son living at the house where he would help me do the uh, labor intense work because you got to go down there, especially when it gets really cold. I got a 55 gallon drum uh, down in, in my basement and you fill that up with coal, all right? Uh, I think the coal I have that I'm burning now is. I think it's called nut coal. I mean, it's really, really small, right? But you got to fill that up, right? And uh, then you got to empty the ash out. And you got to empty a, a big uh, ash drum out uh, in, in the cold winter months, uh, you know, once a day or once a night. And then you got to take that out and uh, put it at the end of your driveway there for the people to pick up the ash, okay? You know, it, it's work. But again, it's nice warm heat. But yeah, my buddy Joe says, Ralph, you might want to think about changing over. I ain't getting any younger, you know? <laughs> so I'm kind of teeter-totter with that idea, you know? That's a, a nice little investment there, but, uh, you know, if I want to move, do I want to invest that kind of money in a oil burning furnace. I mean, will it uh, be a plus when I go to sell the place? It might be, but I don't think I'd recruit, recoup any of that kind of money. I don't know, you know. I gotta do some more investigating on it. But enough of that jibber jabber. I'm gonna put down a little bit more coffee. Ah, my buddy's in the back there. He wanted to go for a ride. Um, that is funny this morning. We're out in the kitchen, and of course the bullet's there. The bullet, by that's Brianna, but I call her the bullet because she's always, you know, she's flying, you know. <laughs> but uh, when uh, when Brianna's there, Prince uh, doesn't get quite the attention that he would get when she's not there. Okay. <laughs> And he lets it be known. He'll come out in the kitchen there, and if I'm sitting there at my counter, you know, drinking my coffee, uh, you know, on, uh, on my uh, computer or whatever, he'll be sitting maybe three feet from me, if that. And he'll be very quiet, but he'll look up at me every once in a while and just go, Oh, whoa, whoa. You know, what do you want? Kind of like, you know what? Give me a little bit of attention, right? So... So then I got to get up off my stool and go down there and pet him, and and I then as he'll lay on the side and boom, boom, boom with his tail smacking the floor, you know, boom, 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 <laughs> and then he'll kind of roll over a little bit on his back and do one of these numbers, and then I gotta you know scratch him here and under here, and oh yeah, behind the ear, and <laughs> it's pretty comical. But he see me uh, walking back and forth when I was getting ready to leave, and he's watching, you know, 
and as soon as I start walking over to my uh, back door, he gets up real quick and he comes over to me and just kind of looks at me like, you taking me with you or what? <laughs> so I go over and get the leash and he'll go right to that back door and he'll stand there and wait. Like, okay, Pat, come on, let's go. Let's you and me do a road trip. <laughs> But uh, that's about it um, for dinner tonight. Brianna wanted to know what we're having for dinner. I said, food? She goes, no, Pat. Come on, what kind of dinner are we having? So I don't know. I'm going to hit my little uh, food store here. Do I want to get some uh, hot dogs? Because she likes Pap's world famous hot dogs. On um, the grill, of course. Or, uh... I'll see what kind of steaks they might have uh, at a reasonable price, if there is such a thing anymore. I'm thinking about getting me a, uh, a pork roast and firing up my big smoker in the backyard and uh, put that on there for uh, cold pork sandwiches, you know. But that'll be uh, probably a, a nine-hour smoke. So uh, I might have to do that real early tomorrow morning. So it'll be ready for, let's say, 6 o'clock tomorrow night, kind of thing, you know? So, that's about all I got going on right now, folks. Um, like I said, Brianna's going to be with me. I'm not sure if uh, she'll be leaving tomorrow night or if we're going to keep her until Monday, you know? I'll talk to her daddy about that, and uh, we'll work something out here. It doesn't matter e either way to me, you know? She spends uh, a reasonable amount of time with us, you know, when, when we can have her in that. So, um, if you hear or know uh, my my daughter, Mary Elizabeth, let her know again that uh, I'm putting it out there. If she wants to come and visit her daughter, get in touch with me. You know, if I'm home, she's more than welcome to stop by, okay? All right, folks. You guys have a great day today, okay? Do something nice for someone if you can, all right? Make their day. And always smile, all right? Love your children, your grandchildren, your family members, your friends, your relatives, and your neighbors. Let them know how much you appreciate them, all right? Because I do appreciate and I love you guys, you know? All right, folks, you take care. Say a prayer your God for peace on earth and say a little prayer for our president Donald Trump okay that he continues to make all good and right decisions all right all right folks I love you guys uh, well let me do this one more time here okay Ah, cheers all my friends down there in Exton Coltsville Sharon Thomas, I love you. We can have different opinions, but I still love you. Bigfoot country. All right, you guys take care. See you. Smile. <laughs>